Hey what's going on guys? My name is Lynx Warlord and welcome to part 7 of the top 10 best Black Ops 2 classes. And in this part we'll be covering the best sniping class and the best way to use it. Now because people like to play very aggressively with the sniper, this class has been set up to be used as an aggressive class but also for defensive play as well. So whether you're running around quick scoping or trying to be a scout sniper, this is a perfect class for both roles. Now I said if we could hit 3000 likes on the last video that I'd upload this video on the exact same day as we did. So if we can hit 3000 likes again, I'll upload the next video on the exact same day again. And in that part I'll be covering the best free for all class and the best way to use it to become a really good free for all player. So I hope you guys all enjoy the video and let's get down to it. Now to become a good sniper, we need to take advantage of how good the snipers are at getting one hit kills. So in our class, we'll be taking one of the best snipers, but killing the class out with everything we'll need to get a variety of kills. So to start our build off, we'll be taking the most damaging sniper rifle in Black Ops 2, which is the DSR-50. Now this is a bolt action sniper, so you'll need to fire each bullet separately. But what this gun lacks in speed, it makes up for in raw power. So you can expect one hit kills from anywhere from the chest up, meaning that you'll be well suited for quick scoping, but also sniping from range. Now for our attachments, we'll be focusing on accuracy and keeping our shots on target over range. So for this, we'll be taking the ballistic CPU and the zoom attachment. Now together these attachments help each other out and let you get kills from long and short range. So for long range kills, use the zoom to get a closer look and let the ballistic CPU keep you on target. But at the same time, if you zoom out, you can easily hit closer shots and still be able to have them on target. Now by using those attachments, we've added accuracy and became effective at different ranges. So in our perks, we'll be adding speed and everything to make kills getting easier. So for our first perk, we'll be taking something to keep us moving faster than our targets. And for this, we're using lightweight. Now this has a few advantages for us as snipers, but it really comes into play for when moving around objects that we can use for cover. And whenever we're in a gunfight, we can stray faster than our targets, which can give us the edge in a close quarters fight. And it also helps us move with the sniper, since the movement speed is usually very slow with any of the snipers. Now for our next two perks, we'll be adding speed and accuracy. So for these perks, we'll be taking fast hands and toughness. Now fast hands is going to make sure that we can be fast with our secondary weapon and our equipment. Whereas toughness lets us stay on target with our shots, even when we're being shot at. And these two perks also make us very well suited to switching guns if we need to do that. So if we ever run out of ammo or need a better gun, these two perks allow you to get it fast and stay on target. Now for our final perk, my first thought was to use Tactical Mask since as a sniper it can really be a big help. But during testing I found that I was being killed too often in fights that I knew I could win. So I changed the perk and added speed for when aiming. So for this, we're using Dexterity and you can really feel the effects of this perk when you're playing aggressively with the sniper, since that extra pull up speed lets you get a lot more kills. Now that's all the perks and attachments we need, and the rest of our points can be used to get us more kills and keep us alive. So to add damage to this class, we'll be taking a secondary weapon, and for this, the TAC 45 is a great choice. Now there are other choices, but I found that this gun has a very high damage and can drop up to 3 players per clip. And since our primary weapon is built for range, this is really going to be an important part to this class. Now for our last point, we'll be taking some equipment to keep us in the middle of a fight or in a strong advantage point. So for this, we're using the tactical insertion. Now depending on how you play, this thing can really help you out. So if you need to always be in the action, you can put this behind a door and no one will see it, but at the same time if you get into a good sniping spot, you can drop this behind you and then take as many kills as you want from that position. And since you've got fast hands on, you'll be able to put the tag insertion down in just a few seconds. Now that's our full build. It's a class made for being top dog at any range, and it's kitted out to be able to get kills fast and with a very high level of accuracy. Now to use this class to its best ability, we need to know how to use it to get kills, and how to make sure that we don't become an easy target. So the best way to do this is to focus on accuracy and damage, and that's exactly what this class is good at. So always try to be in a position where you can best the other player and take that easy kill. Now to do this you want to play aggressively until you come into a good position. Because once you have a good spot, you can very easily defend it and get a lot of kills. So playing anything like domination will let you get lots of kills with very little effort. And since you have a tactical insertion, you can always be nearby this place so you're never far from getting kills. 
Now to move safely around the map, it's a good idea to move with your pistol. And this is because at close range, this is easier to get kills with rather than the sniper. And you'll also be able to move a lot faster with that pistol since it's lighter and you'll also have lightweight on as well. Now it's really important to use your secondary since it keeps you alive and lets you become lethal up close. And in pair with fast hands, you'll be able to equip it in a very short space of time. So what I like to do is if I miss with my first sniper shot, I'll instantly switch to my pistol and be ready for that kill. And it also works great for if you need to reload with your sniper, whereby you can just switch to your pistol and keep on shooting. Now overall this class is great for all types of sniping and it's really a lot of fun to use. I found that this class brings the right balance of perks and attachments which are made to deliver the best damage and the best accuracy. Now I really hope that you've enjoyed the 7th part to this best class guide and remember to leave a like if you have. And if we can hit 3000 likes, I'll upload the best free for all class on the exact same day as we do. Now if you need any extra information from me about this video, then just leave a comment below and I'll reply if I can help you out. But anyway guys, my name has been Link's Warlord and I'm signing out and as always I will catch you guys in the next video.